All right, so in this video, I'm going to try to do a thorough breakdown of the after treatment system in the new Nissan Titan diesel. I currently work for Nissan and just took this course in Nissan diesel, so everything you're going to hear is coming right from the textbook, so it'll be legit. So the after treatment system contains three main sections. The first section contains your diesel oxidation catalyst and diesel particulate filter. Then the next section is the decomposition tube and the diesel exhaust fluid dosing valve and then the third section contains the SCR selective catalyst reduction two bricks there and at the very end will be the ammonia slip catalyst and like the name implies it just cleans up ammonia from the diesel exhaust fluid in the system okay so here's a breakdown right from the textbook and we're gonna break down exactly what each part does and all the sensors on the system and what they do also so the first part of the system is the DOC or diesel oxidation catalyst. Now the job of the DOC is to use unburned fuel hydrocarbons to heat the rest of the system but primarily to heat up the diesel particulate filter. Now the DPF's job is to collect particulate matter also known as soot and it allows exhaust gases to flow through. So the black stuff you see coming out of diesel exhaust this is where it's primarily taken care of and eliminated. Next part of the system is the decomposition tube. Decomp tube holds the diesel exhaust fluid dosing valve. So when you fill up and you have to pour in diesel exhaust fluid into your vehicle also, this is where that fluid comes out, right in the middle of the system in the decomp tube. And the diesel exhaust fluid is basically ammonia, but it's critical for the after treatment system. It really allows the last part of the system, the SRCs, to do their job. That's why if you run low on diesel exhaust fluid, you will go into power reduction mode and your vehicle will hardly move. It's critical for helping to reduce NOx or nitrates of oxide. That's a chemical produced under extremely hot temperatures um, and a big one that the federal government doesn't like. And the way they get rid of NOx in the system is through the SCR, Selective Catalyst Reduction. Now when ammonia from the decomposition tube is sprayed in, with the NOx that's already in the system, the SCR breaks it down into water vapor and nitrogen. The ammonia slip catalyst, that's the last part of the system, that's just used to clean up any ammonia, trace amounts of ammonia from the decomposition tube that was sprayed in, and it's also known as the ammonia brick. And then on to the sensors. We have eight total. Uh, the system likes to use the first knock sensor and the last knock sensor, number eight, to see how well the system's doing its job in total and how much diesel exhaust fluid needs to be injected. But as for the first knock sensor here, it just measures the quantity of NOx coming into the after treatment system. The DOC intake temperature sensor measures the exhaust gas temperature going into the DOC and determines how much fuel is going to be necessary to heat up the DOC. The DPF intake temperature sensor is located between the DOC and DPF. It also measures exhaust gas temperature and also determines the amount of fuel that dosing is going to be necessary for the after treatment system. The DPF differential pressure sensor is a two probe sensor located before and after the DPF. It measures the difference in exhaust gas before the DPF and after the DPF. And that is determined by the ECM to determine soot load. How much soot in there, how much particulate matter is in the actual DPF. The DPF outlet temperature sensor is located directly after the DPF. It measures the exhaust gas after they pass through the diesel particulate filter and is used to monitor regeneration. It's also used to check exhaust gas temperature going into the decomposition tube and the SCR. The SCR intake temperature sensor is located between the first and second SCR bricks. This sensor measures the exhaust gas temperature after the first SCR and helps determine SCR efficiency, how well they're breaking down the NOx in the system. The SCR outlet temperature sensor is located at the end of the effort treatment system after the ammonia slip catalyst. This sensor is used to measure exhaust gases after all after treatment has occurred and ECM uses this measurement to determine how well the after treatment system is doing its job. And finally the outlet knock sensor. It's located at the very end of the after treatment system. 
The ECM compares the inlet NOx and the outlet NOx values to determine how well the after-treatment system is doing its job at removing NOx, nitrates of oxide. If the levels remain too high, the ECM may command additional EGR or additional diesel exhaust fluid dosing in the decomposition tube. All right. Well, I hope that video helped demystify this whole after-treatment system. If you want to screenshot any of the previous screens, feel free to do so. It really helps when you're having that printout and you're able to match that up with the actual sensors. Because you get under and look at this thing, there's sensors everywhere. And unless you have a real clear diagram, it, it can be a real pain. And sometimes it's cool just to know how things work if you got one of these trucks. So, I hope to help guys. If you want to see videos on anything else, let me know. And until next time, peace.